Last piece of this puzzle with these mixed variables is to figure out when we can combine things. So we're going to talk about like terms again. And like terms, when we have mixed variables, and just in general, have exactly the same variables, exactly the same variables involved with exactly the same powers or exponents. So they have to match again exactly on the butts like we were talking before. So what would be some like terms? Maybe I have 3x squared y5 and negative 7x squared y5. As long as the variables match and the powers match on each of them, then we can combine them. They're like terms. So things that wouldn't be like terms. If I have 9z4 and I'm trying to combine it with 2z4x, they don't match exactly on the back. Even though they do match in part, they don't match in whole. So they wouldn't be like terms. We wouldn't be able to combine them. So let's take a few examples and combine our like terms. In A, what are we looking at here? What can we combine together? So we need to match exactly on the butts. So I've got x squared y. Do I have any other x squared y's? I do. And what's going to happen with those? I've got a positive 5 and a negative 5. They're going to be gone. In my last ones, I have xy squared. Is this also an xy squared? Mm -hmm. So all together, how many do I have? 3, I'm taking away 1. I'll have two xy squareds. Okay, you get the idea. Moving along. How many a squareds do I have? I've got two here, or excuse me, eight there, four there. So all together, I've got 12 a squareds. We can take it in part. Next to look at a, b. Do we have any other a, b's? We do. So I've got negative two and negative nine. I've got negative 11 a, b's. And the last piece, b squared, b squared. I've got negative 17 and a positive 7. So all together, I've got negative 10 b squareds. So those are our like terms, what we can combine together. And then in the last one, x's and y's. So do I have another x, y to combine? I do not. So that's going to come on its own xy squared. Do I have another one of those? I do. So I have negative 5 and I'm adding 3. So I've got negative 2 xy squared. And the constant on the end, he doesn't have anybody else to combine with. So we're done there. Good. So, like terms, exact same buts to be able to combine them together. Last little bit. When we're multiplying polynomials with multiple variables, what do we have to work with? We have to deal with those exponent rules. So same base and multiplication, we add the exponents together. So we'll just work with a few of those, see what we're working with. So 3x squared y times xy. What are we looking at? So I've got 3 out on the front. How many x's do I have? 2 and 1 more will give me 3. How many y's? One, two. So that multiplication, same bases. We look individually at the x's, individually at the y's. Combine them together. 3x squared y times the last one. So I'm adding six. How many x's? Two. How many y's? Two. Done with that term. Take the middle one. Negative two xy times xy. So negative 2, how many x's do I have? 2. How many y's do I have? 2. Negative 2xy to the last term. So negative 4, how many x's? 1. How many y's? 2. And the very last, 3y times xy. So I've got plus 3, I've got 1x, 2y's, and very last, what am I going to have? 6y squared. So after we've looked at the product, we want to combine like terms if we can. So let's start comparing. Do I have any other x cubed y squareds involved in that problem? I do not. So that'll come first. Took care of it. All right. Next, 
x squared y squared. Do I have any more of those? I've got one more term, so I've got 6 and I'm taking away 2. Leaves us with 4 x squared y squared. Moving down the line. x y squared, I've got another one over here. So how many are we left with? Negative 1. And we don't have any other y squares. We took care of everything. So that'll come last. Okay. So writing it in descending order, again, is a pain in the butt. We have mixed variables. But this one kind of done, has done it itself. So degree of this term, just to practice. 5, 4, 3, 2. Already in descending order. Nice. All right. So... We're appropriate, and we can use our special rules that we've seen before in 4.6, but if you're not comfortable with it, foil it out. Or if we can't use the rules, foil it out. So looking at that first example, do our terms match exactly? No, so we're going to have to foil on part A. So we'll see what we get. More practice. First terms. How many x's do I have? Two and one more. I've got three on there. How many y's? One, two will give me three altogether. To the last term, our outers. I'm adding x squared. How many y's? Three altogether. Inner, I'm adding two x squared, y squared, and last, plus two xy squared. Can we combine any of these? No like terms, no like terms, no like terms. Nope, that's the end all we can do. For part B, we'll check again. Are they the same? Nope, can't use any tricks. So we just have to FOIL in general. So what are we looking at? First, I've got 2P squared outer minus 3PQ inner plus 10PQ and the last minus 15Q squared. We have like terms in this one that we can combine. So start from the beginning, we've got 2p squared. How many factors of pq do I have? Seven of them. And minus 15q squared in the back. So what if you stuck with the order in your um, inner term? When we multiplied these two together, instead of getting 10pq, what if I got 10qp instead? Are they still gonna be like terms? PQ and QP? Yeah. Multiplication is commutative. We can change the order around. It's not going to matter. Good. Very last one. I've got some quantity squared, so we can use a little trick here, which is nice. So what do I need to take? First thing and square it, plus 2 times each of them together. So 2 times 3 will give me 6, times 2 will give me 12. And I have an x and a y involved. And I'm adding on the last thing squared, 4y squared. And if you're not comfortable with those, foil it out, you'll see. You get to that same result. So even if we have mixed variables, they behave very similar to a single variable. We label them the same. The terms are different because we have to add the powers together, but we still write in descending order like terms behave as normal.